Hello everyone, Ella here. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to all my subscribers and non-subscribers. I appreciate you stopping by. Just wanted to start with uh, California in America. It's, there's so many forts, so I'll have to break it up into different parts. Now, Fort Alcatraz was a United States Army coastal fortification on Alcatraz Island near the mouth of San Francisco Bay in California. Part of a third system of fixed fortifications, although very different to most other third system works. Initially completed in 1859, it was also used for mustering and training recruits for new units for the Civil War from 1861 and begin secondary use of long-term military prison in 1868. Major improvements needed because of the changes in artillery began in the 1870s. Most were underfunded and were never fully completed. As the post came to be seen as less defensive and more as a jail, the site was not used for any major works of the Endicott's board plan for the defence of the bay. A large concrete prison block was erected between 1910 and 1912, in 1933 and 1934, this was modernised and become Alcatraz Federal, Federal Penitentiary. So it was a citadel, uh, which was turned into a prison. The earliest recorded owner of Alcatraz was William Workman, of the Workman Temple family, who gave, whom it was given by a Mexican governor in June 1866. 1846. Understanding that the workmen would build a lighthouse on it. Um, another guy bought it f um, for five thousand dollars in the United, in United States government. President Millard Fillmore ordered that the island be set aside specifically for military purpose based upon the U.S. acquisition of California from Mexico. Fremont had expected a large compensation for his initiative in purchasing and securing Alcatraz Island for the U.S. government, but the U.S. government later invalidated the sale and paid Fremont nothing. He sued, and he's heirs sued for compensation, but unsuccessful. So, the Army Corps began fortifying the island in 1859, until 1859. At 1853, the cost of 87698 The start of the construction was a citadel, in this case, meaning a lightly fortified barracks at the top of the sandstone rock outcrops. In every other third system works, such structures are masked from direct fire by more solidifications, but not here. The upper part of the island was circled with walls built of stone and bricks, building the rock faces, unlike many other third system works, which laid a heavier hand on the natural landscape. Near the wharf, though, later a sally port and fortified barracks showed a more conventional design. The lighthouse was built, 11 cannons were fixed. Um, Engineer James McPherson became the prominent general, served Alcatraz in 1858, became an active fort. It was used to house soldiers who were guilty of crimes as early as 1859. By 1861, the fort was a military prison number of cells were increased in 1867. The facility became a long-term military prison in 1868. It was crucial to defence during the American Civil War, having some 111 cannons encircling the island at its peak. It was also used as a war camp. So, it was actually a citadel. It survived the earthquake and um, prisoners from the island were transferred there as well. So it did actually have a lot of escapes as well. Um, unlike the story that four people have only ever escaped, it had a few more escapes in the 1800s. Here we got a model of the citadel with all the cannons around it. Was a star fort. The Alcatraz Citadel building, completed in nineteen fifties, and then demolished in nineteen oh nine. Is that 
1908 photo. So it was demolished within 50 years. The Hopi mates of the Alcatraz lighthouse and the citadel in the background. And these lighthouses didn't run on kerosene or anything like that. They run on mercury. Alcatraz in 1895. Yeah, view of the island and the citadel in 1908. Oh, you hear it says here um, when the original 1860s citadel collapsed in 1908, the citadel was demolished in 1909 up to the basement over which the new prison was built by the military prisons between 1909 and 1911. So I'll leave links in the description. Camp Alert was an American Civil War Union Army training camp located at the Pioneer Race Course near San Francisco, near north of Bernal Heights. Today, site is a location within the city between the 24th and 25th streets, north and south. Camp Alert was used, first used in 1862 as the place where the 2nd Regiment California Voluntary Cavalry was head, headquartered. Organized train before moving their headquarters to Utah Territory. Remained as a post until 1865. Fort Anderson or Camp Anderson was a military post established in May 1862 by the California Volunteers during the Bald Hills War. It was located at Redwood Creek, below its confluence with Minor Creek, between Fort Humberlot and Fort Gaston. It was abandoned in the winter of 1862 but re established in 1864, finally closed in 1866. Fort Baker it's one of the one components of the California's Golden Gate National Recreation Area, the fort which borders the city of Sulawesi in Marin County and is connected to San Francisco by the Golden Gate Bridge, served as an army post until the mid-1990s when the headquarters of the 91st Division moved to the Parks Reserve Forces Training Area. It is located opposite Fort Point at the entrance to San Francisco Bay, Fort Baker was previously named Line Point Military Reservation and was renamed in 1897. Fort Baker is named after Edward Dixon Baker, a former U.S. Senator from Oregon, active in California politics in 1950. Baker lost his life while leading a regiment of Union troops in the Civil War. He and his wife are buried in the San Francisco National Cemetery at the Presidio. So it's part of uh, Forts Baker, Barry, and Croppenheit. I'll show you guys these on um, the map shortly. Military history began in 1850. There's a half mile long tunnel connecting Fort Barry and Fort Baker. The tunnel was widened 20 feet in June 1937. During World War II, there were 159 structures at Fort Baker, many of them temporary. It became a reserve training in the 1980s. In popular culture, it was also home to the Starfleet. Enterprise Headquarters. These are the um, places where they had set up the forts. And there's a fort directly under the Golden Gate Bridge as well. Fort Barry, a former United States Army installation on the west coast of the United States, located in the Marin Headlands, Marin County, California, north of San Francisco, opened 111 years ago in 1908. I know it's not as old as the other ones, but I just wanted to um, 
show you here. It's got the, the balloon hanger at Fort Barry as a surviving element. The U.S. Army's brief experiments using tethered balloons as part of the National Systems of Coastal Defenses. Constructed and abandoned the same year, the structure is the only surviving hangar of its type that actually housed an Army balloon, and one of the two examples of its known to survive in the country. As such, the national level of significance for its part involving stories of both coastal defence and military aviation. The balloon hangar at Fort Barry was completed on the 27th of June 1921. So it's got a half mile, uh, 0.8 kilometre long tunnel connecting Fort Barry to Fort Baker, uh, decommissioned in 1974, 45 years ago. I just found that very interesting and wanted to share. I know it's not as old as the other ones. This is the tunnel. These are the buildings I showed just before. Fort Cronkite is one of the components of the Golden, California's Golden Gate National Recreation Area. A uh, former U.S. Army post that served as coastal artillery defenses of San Francisco Bay Area during World War II. Uh, machine gun, manned gun batteries, radar sites and other fortifications on high ridges overlooking the fort. So they're saying it was established in 1930. So I'm not, not sure. I don't think it's that old. But then again, there are a lot of other forts in the area. This is the area here. supposed to be after completion. Um, the Benakia Arsenal in the barracks, 1851 to 1964. Part of a large military reservation located next to Susan Bay in Valencia, California. For over 100 years, it was the primary U.S. Ordnance Facility. 1847, a 252-acre parcel of land was acquired for military. In the 24 hours following the Pearl Harbor bomb, 125 separate truck convoys were loaded and dispatched from the Yankee Arsenal, leaving its stock of ammunition, small arms and high explosives completely exhausted. Throughout the war, the Arsenal supply ports and weapons, artillery parts, supplies, tools. In addition, the Arsenal overhauled 14,343 pairs of binoculars, manufactured 180,000 small items with tanks and weapons, and repaired approximately 70,000 watches. However, the Arsenal's most famous of supplying munitions to the Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle, for the first bombing raid on Tokyo. So this is it here in 1878. Uh, packing gun uh, shells. Guardhouse is good quality. Look at the hide on these doors. Unreal. Drum Barracks, also known as Camp Drum, um, and the Drum Barracks Civil War Museum is the last remaining original American Civil War military facility in the Los Angeles area. It's National Heritage is Historic Places since 1987, and it's a Civil War Museum that's open to the public. Um, in 1861, there were concerns on the Union side about loyalty and securing the Los Angeles area. Many of the area's residents were recent arrivals from the southern state. So they asked the governor, and he wrote a letter to Lincoln advising that the Union would lose California unless some provisions were made. So they built a move to garrison from Fort T. John to Camp Latham near Clover City, California. So 
links will be up in the description. The Silver Stray and Training Complex, formerly known as the Naval Radio Receiving Facility, is a premier, tra premier training facility of the U.S. Special Operations for Forces, located between Imperial Beach and Silver Strand State Beach near San Diego and Southern California. The facility was known by locals as the Elephant Cage. It was a nickname for the large woolen weaver directional finder antenna. The antenna was used to provide direct finding primary communications for the U.S. Navy submarines. The antenna was finally decommissioned in 2015, even though it was scheduled to be removed in the fiscal year 2007. Presently, the area is part of the naval base Con Corondo. I'll just share this to show you the antenna array. Fort Funston is a former harbour defence installation located in the southwestern corner of San Francisco, formerly known as Lake Mercy Military Res Reservation. Fort's now a protected area within the Golden Gate National Recreational Area. It was named in honour of Frederick N. Funston, 1865 to 1917, a major general in the United States Army, with strong connections to San Francisco, it included and it included several artillery batteries. The fort is located on the Skyline Boulevard on John Muir Drive. So it's, a, it's not as old as the Star Forts that we've been looking at, but it might have been an older fort that's been re-renovated. Grant is a ghost town in the Humboldt County located in the South Fork Eel River, two miles northeast of Wheelock and three miles east of Dryerville. Originally set it by Northern Synchronome people, followed by the Union Army Camp and later a logging and railway support settlement for the construction of the North and Western Pacific Railway. Early in 1850s, um, pass through the local trails, seeking their way back to San Francisco. They tried to follow the coast and failed. They left the coast along the Bull Creek, the present-day location of Honeydew, California, and past these areas on the trail. Their way to Clear Lake, although their exact route after leaving this area is unknown. So, so they've also got a, a wall, the Bald Hills Wall. 1858-64 was a war fought by the forces of the California military, California volunteers and soldiers of the U.S. Army against the, the native peoples. Fort Humboldt um, State Historic Park, located in Eureka, California, interprets in, displays and interprets the former U.S. Army fort, which was staffed from 1853 to 1870. Interactions between European Americans and Native Americans in roughly the same period and both logging equipment and narrow gauge railway his, railway history of the region. Within the collection, there are trains, logging equipment, including a fully functioned steam engine, donkey, steam donkey engine, and authentic Native American dug, dugout canoe. The fort overlooks Humboldt Bay for a commanding position on top of the bluff. And the discovery of gold it was set for a stage yeah um that was the story of the other star forts was um the gold rush is why they built them was, was one of the reasons thank you also jacua is a former settlement in the humboldt county california camp or fort luck were a military post operational from the 5th of august 1863 to 1866 was located on yiga creek 18 miles east of the mouth of the eel river and is located on luckwa creek four miles southeast of luckwa fort irwin national Tra training center is a major training area of the united states military still in use today um, 2010 census had a population of 8,845. The Fort Irwin area has history dating back almost 15,000 years of Native Americans of the 
late Mojove period were believed to live in the area. Um, the Indian guides in 1776, during his travel, he noticed several small boat bands of Indians and believed to have been the first of European to make contact with the Native Americans in the area. I'm wondering if the Indians were living in these places and they come in and kick them out. This is the National Training Centre. Been there for a long time, Fort Irwin. 1776, I come across this area. Fort Jones is a city in the Scott Valley area of Siskiyou County, California. Population was 839 at the 2010 census, up from 600 at the 2000 census. Fort Jones um, changed, the name changed in 1852, 1854 a post office and 1860, the local citizens petitioned the postal department to change it to Fort Jones, and that remains today. The earliest permanent building on the town site was built in 1851 by two nurses, Brown and Kelly. The mines around the valley attracted many immigrants, many parts, and. Uh, it was established 18th of October 1852. Not many were established in the vicinity. There's another one 16 miles to the northeast. Camp Lincoln, also known, known as Long's Camp, Fort Long Lincoln's Fort. Fort Lincoln <coughs> in Crescent City, California was a United States military post. It was established on June 13, 1862. Keep the peace between the tribe of Native Americans. So, so they blame the gold rush and the Indians. Camp Lowe, or San Jun, uh, the teaser post, <coughs> was a military post first established in December 1864 by the California Volunteers in response to the attacks of the Mason Henry Gang in the surrounding area during the American Civil War. The gang was driven out in May 1865. The post was abandoned in June 1885. Fort MacArthur is the former United States Army installation in San Pedro, Los Angeles, California, now the port community of Los Angeles. A small section remains in military use by the United States Air Force as the housing administrative annex of Los Angeles Air Force Base. The fort is named after Lieutenant General MacArthur. His son, Douglas MacArthur, would later command the American forces during the Pacific during World War II. 1888, present Glover, Cleveland. Designated an area overlooking the San Pedro Bay as an unnamed military reservation intended to improve the defences of the expanding Los Angeles Harbour. Additional land was purchased in 1897 and 1910 and um, was formally created on 31st of October 1914. Yeah. So here we have it here. I apologise, I was trying to find a better photo. 
Angel Island is an island in San Francisco Bay, originally the home of a military installation, and the island now offers picturesque views, um, being used for a variety of purposes, including military fort, public health service quarantine station, U.S. Bureau of Immigration Inspection and Detention site. Approximately one million immigrants have been through there. It's the second largest island in the area of the San Francisco Bay. Uh, Fort McDowell Quarantine Station was open in 1891. Uh, this served as an area to discharge depot for returning troops. So I got the island here. It was active between 1899 and 1915. So I, I think some of it would probably be buried. Still, they probably don't know. Government building on the island. Reynolds. Fine in October two thousand and eight. In seventeen seventy five the packet San Carlos first non Spanish ship to enter San Francisco Bay anchored in this cove while her commander Lieutenant John Manuel de Alea directed the first survey of the bay. Alea named this island Ala de Los Angeles. The island has been a Mexican rancho, the U.S. military post bay defense site, and both a quarantine and an immigration site. Historical landmark number 529. The plaque was placed on the September 26, 1970. Fort Miley Military Reservation in San Francisco, California. Much of the site sits on the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. In 1885, they issued a report saying it's necessary. The government secured in 1891 54 acres or 74,000. It was some years before the army did anything. Introductions of the fortifications began in 1899. A battery Two with 12 inch rifle guns mounted on Buffington Crozer. Disappearing cartridges was put in, which was completed in 1902. Third 12 inch gun was added to what's now Battery James Chester in 1903. Meanwhile, work began on November 27, 1899, on a separate battery for 16 12 inch mortars. These weapons covered all three of the channels of approach for the Golden Gate, South, Main, and North. The reservation was named Fort Miley in 1900 after Lieutenant Colonel John D. Miley. He died in Manila, Philippine Island, the year prior. To man the, these two batteries, the army constructed between them a parade ground, a complex of frame buildings built to then standard plans for barracks and quarters. The base, basic complex was built in 1902 and 1906. The horseshoe shaped parade ground was opened to the north with a view of towards the Golden Gate. An octagonal building on military Fort Miley grounds. This is the area, I think. Ordnance store. Fort Miller, originally Camp Babur, and then Camp Miller. Former fort is on the south bank of the San Jacqueline River. And the site is now under Milliton Lake. So it's been 
totally flooded. I had a look on the map and it's just water. <laughs> Fort Ord, former United States Army post on the Montana Bay, Pacific Ocean coast in California, closed in 1994 due to base regiment closer action. Most of the fort's land is now makes up the Fort Ord National Monument, managed by the United States Bureau of Land Management and National Conservation Lands, while a small portion remains an active military under installation under Army control. So it's not as old as the other ones. Saying, I think it's a 1940. Yeah. Camp Roberts, another one. I think this is more um, newer. Fort Ross, uh, former Russian establishment on the west coast. Beginning with Columbus in 1492, the Spanish presence in their Western Hemisphere um, and travelled west across the Atlantic and then around across the Americas to reach the Pacific Ocean, the Russian expansion, however, moved east across Siberia and the Northern Pacific. Early 19th century Spanish and Russian expeditions met along the coast of Spanish Alta California, with Russia pushing south and Spain pushing north. By the time British and American fur trade companies had also established a coastline presence in the north, in the Pacific Northwest, and Mexico was soon to gain independence. Um, so, eighteen o three. View it in eighteen twenty eight. Beautiful building that's still standing. In Australia, <laughs> the termites would have eaten it by now. I've seen a few of these buildings in that shape, mainly in America. You could build it in a way that you wouldn't need any nails or hammer, just place them on top of each other. The joins would hold them in together. Founded in eighteen twelve by the Russians. Okay. The Presidente of San Diego is a historic fort in San Diego, California. It was established on May 14th, 1769. Leader, I can't say this name, Caspar de Portilla, leader of the first European land expedition, exploration of Alta California, at the time an unexplored northwest frontier area of New Spain. The Presidente was the first permanent European settlement on the Pacific coast of present-day United States, as the first of the Presidios and Spanish missions in California, it was the base of operations for the Spanish colonization of California. Essentially abandoned by 1835, the site of the original Presidio lays on a hill within modern-day Presidio Park. Although no historic structures remain above ground, remain above ground. The San Diego 
President Cho was registered as a landmark in 1932 and declared a National Historic 1960. So, first in 1542 and then 1607, no settlement was made until the fort began in May 1769. sad that nothing remains. The site was occasionally used for archaeological digs. There are no additional photographs available, of course. So we got ruins of the monument. It's a map of what it looked like. Beautiful building. Don't let me zoom, I'm not sure. Okay, here we got it's another one. There was two of them. Um, Fortification, fortified location since September of 1776 when New Spain established the Presidio to gain a foothold on Alta California and the San Francisco Bay, passed to Mexico, which then passed it to the United States in 1848 as part of the, as part of the 1989 military reduction program under the base regiment and closure progress. Congress were voted to end the Presidio's status as an active military installation of the U.S. Army and it was transferred to the National Parks on the 1st of October 1914, ending 219 years of military service and beginning its next phase as a mixed commercial and public use. Fort Point. This is the one I was talking about under the Golden Gate Bridge. It's 1861 brick and granite fortification located under the Golden Gate Bridge. I'll do that one shortly. Tunnel Tops Project. So, <laughs> I think they're admitting here there is tunnels under these places. You guys can pause if you want to have a quick read. I just want to say thank you if you're still listening. I appreciate it. And if you have an area of interest or you're going to go somewhere and you'd like to know if there's any of these places, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and find some. Park had a large in inventory of approximately 800 build buildings. By 2004, approximately 50% of the buildings on the park grounds had been restored and partially remodeled. So this is what it would have looked like. Part of it. I think the other part's up here under the bit there. People would be driving over it each day and would have no idea it's there. So it was this whole area here. And the fort's up here. The battery chamberlain. Let's see here. Looks like a citadel. 1817. And here's the whole area here. And the other one is just built just in under here.
Camp St. Louis, Osby Pure. I'm sorry for saying this wrong, I apologise. Um, they're saying it was established in 1928. Home of the National Guard. Could have been there longer, I'm not sure. This is a Presidente of Santa Barbara, similar to the other two that we looked at. Built by Spain in 1782. It's currently a tourist attraction museum at an active archaeological site. Contains an original suburb structure called El Corrucho, which is the second oldest surviving building in California. Only the chapel at Mission San Joan, this one here, is older. Construction began in 1782. By the next year, a temporary facility had been completed, a wheat field planted. Built in the 1780s. History Museum in Santa Barbara, Southern California, restored in the 1950s and then in 1990. The Guards House, the oldest building in Santa Barbara. Fort Point is a masonry seacoast fortification located on the southern side of the Golden Gate at the entrance to the San Francisco Bay. Um, the fort was completed just before the American Civil War by the United States Army to defend San Francisco Bay against hostile warships. The fort is now protected as a point, Fort Point National Historic Site. 1769, Spain occupied the San Francisco area, and by 1776 it established the area's first European settlement with a mission and a presidio to protect against the encroachment by the British and Russians. They constructed a fortification. Nineteen thirty four Fort Point Golden Gate Bridge under construction. So they just built right over the top of it. View from under the bridge. General view of the northwest wall. In relation to Fort Point Arch of Golden Gate Bridge. A view towards the southwest corner of the interior showing the original wooden structure of top southwest circular staircase. Middle level. Cannons on display. Look at the building. Oh, it's just unreal, isn't it? There's no way men with no education can build like this. There's just no way. Even if they've got a foreman sitting there yelling out instructions, there's just no way. A circular stairway. It's unreal. There's the approach, looking down, I found that one really interesting, it's just right there, not many notice. Fort Hunter Liget, uh, named after General Hunter Liget in 1941, US Army Fort in southern Monterey, California, 150 miles south of San Francisco. Fort is primarily used as a training facilities where activities such as field maneuvers and live fire exercises are performed. It's located roughly 25 miles northwest of Camp Roberts, California. 
the fort originally comprised 200,000 acres. And even at its present size of 167,000 acres, it's the largest United States Army Reserve can command post. Couldn't see. So it's saying 1940. Fort Stewart, California, located on the El River, northwest of Elder Point, elevation of 328 feet. Um, military camp called Fort Stewart was established during the Bald Hills War, September 25th, 1861. Following a series of skirmishes with the Indians along the El River, it was built on the location recommended by Lieutenant Joseph B. Collins for the U.S. 4th Regiment. Fort Stewart was decommissioned in 1862. It was a later site where captured Lasky Loki, leader during the Bald Hills War, and his men were killed by local military men in January 1863. The post operation office operated from Fort Stewart from 1912 to 1972. The name honors William H. Stewart, Secretary of State under President Abraham Lincoln. Fort Tijon, um, built, it was intermittently active from June 1854 until September 1864. The fort's location protected the San Joaquin Valley from south and west. The fort's mission was to suppress stock rustling and protect settlers from attack by disconnect. Californians and Native American tribes. So they're blaming the Indians for these ones. At least it's not the Russians or the um, Japanese. Fort Tijet had an earthquake about 820 on January 9, 1857. It ruptured the San Andreas Fault for a length of about 350 kilometers between Parkfield and San Bernardino. Displacement along the fault line was such as 9 metres. Um, the amount of the fault slip gives this earthquake the moment, moment magnitude of 7.9. It doesn't say anything about damage. Ah, oh, so it was, it was damaged. It had the greatest damage. My apologies. Fort Tiawa is a former U.S. Army fort located six miles at the mouth of the Kalthmouth River in the present town of Kalthmouth Glen, California. The United States Army post was created to guard the river reservation in October 12, 1857. Garrison was, was a, most of the fort was destroyed during the Great Flood of 1862. And in December 1861, abandoned. June 10, 1862, the garrison moved, was moved to Camp Lincoln. Around Valley Indian Reservations, a federally recognized Indian reservation. A small part extends into the Trinity County. Fort Wright. Between July 1856, when Superintendent of Indian Affairs requested official designation of the valley as a known cult farm and granting of his request in 1858, Grand Valley slowly filled with farms and ranches despite its reservation status. Relations between various Indian groups, settlers, white employees of the reservation reached a state of extreme hostility, bloodshed became a frequent occurrence, and settlers massacred Indians. Terrible. Fort Point, San Francisco, that's what we just did, my apologies, um, Fort Yuma was a fort in California located in Imperial County across the Colorado River from Yuma, Arizona. 
It was on the Butterfield Overland Mail route from 1858 until 1861. It was abandoned May 16, 1883. Transferred to the Department of Interior, Fort Yama Indian School, and St. Thomas Yama Indian Mission now occupy the site. Pre-Civil War, the fort was originally located in the bottoms near the Colorado River, less than a mile below the mouth of the Great Gila River. It was constructed to defend the newly settled community of Yoma, New Mexico Territory. So, in 1851, June 1851, the army eventually burned, virtually abandoned the post because of the high cost incurred in maintaining it, and it was completely abandoned on December 6, 1851. So they're saying it was difficult to supply. So how did they build these places if they have trouble supplying them? So here we are here. Now I'm seeing these quite a bit. I'm wondering if these are aerials of some sort. Had a subscriber say so that maybe perhaps the fort could have had a big structure like a tower and the forts were used to anchor them. And that's that's a good idea. So I got this information from this page here, a list of forts in California. It's got the dates and everything. So these are the Google Earth ones. I'll do a separate smaller video for all of these. And once again, they all seem to line up with each other. They're all within a small distance of each other. Miley. That was where Camp Alert was. I wonder if this one here, Treasure Island, was also a fort. This was the one with the aerial presidential of San Diego. And then there's similar presidential of San Francisco. We've got presidential of Santa Barbara. So I'll do a video of these for you lovely people. Thank you to everyone. If you're still here, hit that like. If you haven't subbed, I'd really appreciate it. And if you have an area of suggestion, let me know in the comments. Thank you. Bye.